What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. Today we're gonna to be drinking lots of, lots of tea, lots of oil here uh, in this video. Because you know it's Ramadan, we wanna get a little fit, so I thought why not we have some oil and get a little more fit with that. I'm just joking guys, we're not gonna be using this to drink, but we're actually gonna be using it as a weight today. Because today we're gonna to require some dumbbells at home for this exercise for the day four in the Ramadan fat loss series. If you don't have dumbbells at home, that's why I have this bottle of oil with me because it has a handle, so you kinda use it as a weight. You can also use like a, like, you know, if you have some, uh, a bag of rice or you have any other um, bucket or anything that you could put some weight in and then you can pull that as, as, a, as an exercise weight. So that's why I have this example here, but I'm actually going to be using dumbbells, okay? So not a bo uh, uh, oil bottle, but you can if you have that, just an option, right? So today we're going to get right into it. I'm just going to put this down over here. Um, today we're going to get right into the exercises for day four of the At Home Fat Loss Ramadan series. You guys are with me for... Now the fourth day, you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are seeing some results and learning something and also, you know, getting a little bit more strength too. So I know we're fasting, we're tired, we're thirsty, but you know, we can do it. It's just a little bit longer. You're gonna open your fast in about 45 minutes. Again, do these exercises guys, 45 minutes to half an hour before the fast opens. So as soon as you're done, we're really thirsty, we can go ahead and, and drink the water and have some food to refuel. So the first exercise we're gonna do today are called jumping jacks. You must have done them before. So you just pretty much jump up. When you jump up, you open your legs and you get your hands at the top. When you come back down, when you jump back in, you bring your legs in and you bring your hands back to your side. So we're gonna do three sets of 15. So ready and go. One, two, three, breathe, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 and 15, very nice. So now that's a 30 second break. We're gonna do that for two more times. So again, every single day, you know, we're gonna start out with a little bit of cardio just to kind of get your heart rate up, get you moving a little bit, and the rest of the workouts are gonna be total body. So today, we're gonna be actually using some dumbbells if you have some, and if you don't, like I said, give you some options. Anything that you can use as a weight, even if you wanna use a heavy book, you can use that too. Anything you can find in your house, and ready? We're gonna go with the second set now. Make sure you're breathing, guys. Breathing is the most important part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, 12, 13, and 15. Good. Second set is done. You guys are doing amazing. And if, guys, please, when you get a chance, do share these videos with your family and friends, okay? I really want to help as many Muslims and other people in the world that are actually looking for gaining some knowledge about how to start working out as a beginner. And as long as they're actually doing the fast, doing this, they're gonna be able to speed up the process of burning even more fat during this, exercise, uh, during this month, okay? Thank you guys. So, ready? Now we're gonna do the second set and go. Third set, sorry. Two, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, and 15. Very nice, okay. Three sets are done. Now we're gonna take a break, okay? One minute. So now, the next exercise is what's gonna require the dumbbells that I was talking about. So what you can do is you can have a bench if you want, like a small bench, but I'm not gonna use a bench, I'm just gonna use my leg to do this. But otherwise, if you had a bench, you'd put your hand on the bench and then do it, but what we're gonna do is just use our own body. So I'm gonna get dumbbells. I'm just gonna get one. Okay, so this is a 15 pound dumbbell. Usually I'll use a lot more weight, but just to show you, just to keep it things easy and simple. What we're gonna do is, you're gonna split your legs like this, okay? Like this. And this is an exercise for your back, okay? It's called the one arm row, but you can do it at home, okay? And I have a video about how to do this correctly uh, uh, in my YouTube channel that you can check out as well. So what you're pretty much doing is you're bending your knee here, okay? and you're putting your elbow on your thigh here, like this. And then you're grabbing your weight or your bottle of oil, if you have that, and you're just pulling your elbow back to your hip and pulling it back, stretching it, and pulling it again. So right here, we're gonna do three sets of eight. Okay, keep your back straight. Don't bend your back like this. Make sure it's straight. And squeeze and back. Two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful, so that's right here. It's gonna be focusing on your lat muscles in your back. 
We're gonna switch sides. We're gonna do eight per arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful, so you can do that with anything, okay? Just something that has a little bit of weight, even five to 10 pounds, anything that you're comfortable with, you'll feel it right here. Great exercise for your back, okay? So if you're someone that's a little bit stronger, use heavier dumbbells, no problem. It'll help to maintain the muscle mass in this month as well. And you might even increase in some muscle mass too if you've never done this before, okay? So that's your first set done. Now we're gonna do the second set. Again, breathe, okay guys? The most important part is to breathe, ready? Elbow to the hip. Okay, I don't want you to go up this way. That's gonna use your bicep and it's gonna mess up your shoulder a little bit. So you want to take it back, elbow to your hip. Four, squeeze for a second, five, come back. Squeeze, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight. Switch sides, ready? Again, squeeze, one, two, keep the back straight, three, Four. You don't want to put your head down either like this. You also don't want it to be too high up. Just look straight ahead of you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's eight. That's your second set. We got one more set, okay? 30 seconds. We're going to focus on our breathing. Notice when I breathe in, I take my time, and when I breathe out, I also take my time. I don't release my breath right away. This way you can control your heart rate and bring it down, so. Okay, good. So now we're off to the third set. Last one. Squeeze and back. Squeeze and back. Squeeze. Squeeze. Six, good job guys. Seven, keep it up, one more. Eight, doing great, switch sides. Here we go. One, two, I'm not sure how to help with that. three, that's my Google talking, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, okay, that was great. So that's three sets guys of eight per arm for one arm rows at home with your oil bucket or your dumbbell. So now we're gonna take about a minute break and we're gonna do the next exercise, okay? So I'm just gonna put this dumbbell away so you don't get hurt. So the next exercise is going to be for your core again, okay? Just to build some more core stability and increase your uh, balance. So this is called a side plank, okay? So it's gonna work on the side of your, your, your stomach here. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna lie down, okay? I want your elbow right underneath your shoulder, okay? I want the rest of your legs straight, okay? And all I want you to do is take your hips and get them up to the roof like this, just like that. And put your hand here, but make sure your body is straight. Don't lean too far forward, don't lean too far back, okay? And that's how you're gonna do it. So ready? We're gonna get started. And 15 seconds per side, okay guys? And we're up, one. If you need some support, you can put your hand here and just support yourself, three, four. Otherwise, I want you to keep your hips straight. Don't let them go back too much and don't pull them too much forward either, right underneath your body. Six, three, two, and good. See my body was shaking, right? That's a good sign. So the side of your body should be shaking. Now we're gonna switch sides. All right, do the other side. And let's go, we're up. Keep your body straight, just like this. You can put your hand this way like this to get more balance. You got five seconds guys, four, three, two, and time. Very nice. So that's a great exercise for the side of your, uh, your body as well, the side of your abs and to build some core stability. So we're gonna take a 30 second break now and we're gonna do that again. So it's gonna be 15 seconds per side and we're gonna then repeat, okay? So get ready to do the second set. Now, if this is too tough, okay, you can just keep one knee down and then go up, okay? So you can kind of just 
go like this here. So you can put the other leg on top here and put this down here, okay? And this will help to pull your body up. It's a little bit easier to do it this way, but if you're okay to do it with your whole body, keep your leg up like this. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. So it sides. It's like I'm break dancing here. Not even close. Okay, ready? And we're up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can put your hands here as well. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job, guys. That's your second set. 30 second break. We're gonna do one more time. Doing an amazing job, guys. What do you guys have cooked? What do you have planned to eat tonight for iftar? Let me know in the comments section below. I hope it's not jalebi and samosa and you know, gulab jam and all that good stuff because that's not gonna help you. We're gonna try to eat healthy, right? So if you haven't checked out my video on what you wanna eat during this Ramadan, make sure you go check out my diet video, okay? So you can get the best benefits. Ready? We're gonna do the last set. And we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. You should be shaking a little bit, right? That's good. In your stomach, if you're shaking, that's great. Okay, ready? And we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Look at that. Good job, guys. That's your three sets done. Now we're gonna take a one minute break and we're gonna focus on our breathing again. And then we're gonna do, we have two exercises left guys, we're gonna do one more for your legs again, and then we're gonna do the last one so that we can finish off the workout, okay? So ready, we're gonna breathe now. So breathe with me, breathe in, and breathe out. And try to relax and breathe in. And breathe out. Very nice. Breathing is the most important part. See, like I just took three breaths and now look, back to normal. You gotta breathe. Control your heart rate, bring it down. And the healthier that you're gonna be eating in this month as we go forward in our days with the working out together, you're gonna start to see that you have much better performance, you're able to last longer and you won't get that much out of breath anymore, right? So I think already now we're gonna do some uh, sideline leg raises for your butt, okay, for the side of your butt, it's called the gluteus medius. So we're gonna work on this area of your butt, which is the area that is very underworked for majority of the population, and it causes a lot of low back issues because this is, if this is strong, it'll hold up your body's, your body's weight and it won't pull from your lower back. When this is weak, your lower back starts to get overworked and that's how your lower back starts to hurt. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna lie down on our sides here, okay, and what I want you to do is get your feet right on top of each other. And I want this hand to go straight across, okay? Rest your ear on your bicep here. Get this hand on your hip here, okay? So you know where your hip is moving. Now I want you to shift your hip forward a little bit, okay? So it's completely in line with your body. Usually you're gonna have it back here and I don't want that. That's not gonna work the muscle I want you to work. I want you to shift it forward. From here, what I want you to do is I want you to take your bottom leg, okay? and I want you to take it back, okay, behind you, towards the wall. Now from here, I want you to leave that leg there where it is. We're gonna work this leg first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your heel and you're gonna lift it as high as you can, squeeze it, and come back down nice and controlled. Lift it, squeeze, come back, control. Now I'm not going all the way up here. I'm just going a little bit to here, squeeze, and come back. I should feel it right here, okay? So if you're not feeling it here, all I need you to do is shift forward more and then go up. That's four. We're gonna do 15 per side. That's five. Six, good job guys. Seven, you should feel it right here. It should be a burn right here. Eight, nine, 10, 11. If you can only do 12, do 12, that's fine. If it really starts to burn, you can take a break. 13, 14, and 15, great. That's how you do the first side. Now we're gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna switch over. Same thing, we're gonna lie down, okay? Get those arms straight, 
and shift the hip elbow forward, uh, sorry, the hip forward, get the bottom leg back and raise. One, two, just like that. You feel it right here in your butt. Three, side of your butt. Four, five, breathe guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Very nice. So we're going to take a 30 second break now. That was our first set. We're going to do that again. But again, just to reiterate, this is a great exercise, guys, to help to increase your strength in your, in your butt and also to help decrease the pain in your lower back and to strengthen your lower back too so that it doesn't uh, act up whenever you do anything around the house, right? So uh, again, you can incorporate this exercise every single day in your workouts, right? Because it's very easy and you can do it at home even while you're watching a TV show or something, right? Let's go, second set. Back leg, back, hip forward, and we're up. One, two, again, if you're not feeling it in this area right here, right? Just shift your hip forward a little bit and you should feel it. And also try to lift with your heel. Okay, five, six, squeeze, seven. I don't want you to do this fast like that. You won't feel it that way. You're gonna be yanking it up. Eight, just go nice and controlled. Nine, 10, I'm already feeling it. 11, 12, 13, good job guys. 14, beautiful. Switch, other side. We're down on the floor now, ready? Leg back, hip forward, heel up. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, eight, nine, that's burning. 10, 11, good, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Oh man, that one burned quite a bit. That burned, like they say, that burned so good. So we got one more, okay? We got about 20 seconds left. Then we're gonna do the last one. Get ready. Then after this, we have one more exercise, guys. We're almost there, okay? You're doing good. Today's workout is not as intense. I wanted to give you a little bit of a break, doing some accessory work, and then tomorrow we'll pick it up again. So, getting ready in position. Leg is back, hip is forward, and go. One, two, very nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good job. So now, if you're really having a hard time, you don't have to get to 15. Do 10, do 12, right? Um, just make sure you get a good little burn, right? Just a little bit of a stimulus going there. So now we're gonna go again. For the last time on the other side, bend your knee back, hip is forward, shift the heel up and go up. One, two, three, very nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, beautiful. 10, 11, 12, 14, and ah, 15, very nice. All right, guys, beautiful. Okay, so we got our three sets done now, uh, 15 per side for the sideline leg raises. Now we've got a minute break, and we're gonna do our last exercise, which is called the bird dog, okay? Guys, this is an amazing exercise, okay? This is great for, again, low back issues, also for core stability and overall total body coordination. It's an exercise for anybody that's had low back issues in the past. If you're someone that's watching, you've had some, you know, uh, you've had, you've delivered a baby before and you had an epidural and you had some low back pain from that or just in general, you have low back pain a lot. Do this exercise and I promise you every single day if you do it, your back is gonna get really, 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 really strong, okay? And it's gonna help you in your everyday life. So. It's called the bird dog exercise. It's gotta be done correctly though, so pay attention, okay? What we're gonna do is, you're gonna get onto the floor, and I want your knee to be right underneath the hip, okay? And I want your hands to be right underneath your shoulder, okay? 
Now from here, what we're gonna do is, we want to first brace our core. So I want you to flex your stomach, okay, like this. And I want you to drop your shoulder blades down, okay? So don't have your shoulder blades up all the way, drop your shoulder blades down a little bit, flex your stomach so that you have some stability and some uh, engagement here. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly start to remove your opposite hand and your opposite leg. So we're gonna start with this hand and this leg. Okay, so what I'm gonna start to do is I'm first again, drop your shoulder blades down, engage your core, okay? Make it tight, which means to push your stomach all the way out, okay? And you're gonna start to slowly release your opposite hand and your opposite leg right here. And you're gonna pause for a second and you're gonna come back and return to the same spot. And again, brace your core, slowly release the other end, bring it back nice and controlled. Now that's one each hand. We're gonna do six per hand, okay? Now, when you watch this, you notice that my hips can't shift like this, okay? Your hips cannot shift, rotate, they have to stay straight. So what you can do is, you can put like, you know, uh, a fruit or something on your back here and if that falls you're not doing it correctly okay so again in order for your hips to not shift you have to make sure you engage your core this is why it's in a great exercise for your stomach and it also works your back muscles here because when you're in this position at the back here these are on your erector muscles for your spine are on and that's going to help to strengthen your spine at the same time strengthen your core and your coordination because you're off balance right so ready we're going to start now okay this is going to be your first set we're going to do six per and we're going to Hold it for two seconds and do it again. Ready? So, shoulder blades down, engage my core, slowly release. That's one. That's two. Again, notice my hips are not moving because my abs are engaged. That's three. That's four. That's five. And that's six, okay? Now, there is a reason I only made you do six of them because they seem very easy, but if you do it correctly, it's actually fairly challenging. You can see I was shaking a little bit, so I'm really trying to stabilize my core and making sure my hips don't shift. And I'm trying to execute it as perfectly as I can. So that's why it's only six. So that's one set. We're gonna do two more, okay, just like that. So we're gonna take a little bit longer. So breathe, okay, we're almost there. We're gonna do the second set now. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, just like that. And again, drop your shoulder blades, engage your core, shift, one. One. Two. Two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six. And six. Good job, guys. Second set in the books. We got one more. Breathe. You're feeling that in your stomach and your lower back, and then you're doing great. Try not to shift your hips, guys. And if you want to test it, put a fruit, uh, like an apple or something, an orange on your lower back. And if that falls off during the exercise, then you shifted your hips, right? That's okay. We're going to keep working on it, you know, build on it, and then you can be better and better every time you do it. So let's do the last set now, okay? I'm going to show you from this side. 
Again, shoulders down, engage your core, and slowly shift opposite leg, opposite hand. One. Two. So try to leave at the same time, at the same rate, the same pace, and try to come back at the same time, at the same pace. Nice and slow. It's not supposed to be done fast. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And that is six. Beautiful guys, so that's it for today. Okay, that's the workout. Now we're gonna get into the stretches for today. So yesterday I taught you a stretch about how is how to stretch it so that you know um, your lower back. I don't think it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before, but how to stretch your lower back if you have trouble when it hurts when you go forward, okay? So today I'm gonna teach you how to stretch it if it hurts when you lean back, because there's a difference, okay? So for this stretch, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hug our knees, okay? So what that means is you're gonna lie down on the floor, okay? Okay, make sure your lower back is on the floor. And all we're gonna do is gonna grab our hands, lock them in like this, Put them over our knees and just breathe. So we wanna make sure we're breathing in our stomach here and every time we breathe out, we should have more space. So when we have that space, I want you to pull your legs closer to you, your knees closer to your chest, kind of like hugging your, hugging your knees like this and then breathe in. See how I breathe out and I pull my legs in more? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna release some of the pressure in your lower back and just relax your lower back, okay? So you're just gonna hang out here for a bit, right? 15 to 20 seconds, even 30 seconds if you feel like doing that. And that's it, guys. That's your day four in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Again, if you're fasting this month, like this video, comment in the section below, let me know how you liked it. And guys, come on, share it with your friends so they can also get in shape this month and enjoy the benefits of Ramadan. I hope you guys a very blessed day for today and I wish you uh, good luck for tomorrow for day five, okay? See you guys next time. Take care.